Hey guys, welcome to another Server Miner plugin tutorial. I'm your host, LTGym007, and today we're looking at the Player Warp plugin. So, this is a fantastic warp plugin which allows your players to create their own warps, which they can find in a really awesome GUI and have different people go to them, set them public, private, etc. Um, so, let's just jump into it. First of all, we're going to do forward slash pwarp help. This is going to show us a list of all of the commands. And what we can see is there is about 19, they're numbered, which is pretty cool. And first of all, we're going to do pwarp GUI. This will show us the awesome GUI, which will have all the different warps, different pages if you've got a ton of them. Uh, but at the moment I have two, and as you can see, you can customize the name, you can customize the lore, and it will tell you who the owner is and how many visitors it's had. As it's only me on the server, uh, we've had zero visitors, but I am the owner, and you can even see my face, the little Donald Duck head, which is cool. Then if we do forward slash pwarp set and then a name such as tree, that will create a warp if we have enough um, of the item. So currently it costs one diamond to be able to create a warp. You can obviously change this, uh, but if we give ourselves a diamond, we will be able to create the warp and then there we go, it's worked. So if we want to change the item, it's very simple. You do forward slash P warp, set price, and then the amount of the item you're holding. So if we were to change this to two, for example, and hit enter, it will mean that you will need two diamonds to create a new warp. So if we go ahead and test this out by doing forward slash P warp, set tree two, you can see it goes from 63 diamonds to 61, it's taken two, and that is how it works. It's a really cool feature. Then if we do forward slash P warp list, it will list all of the different warps. And then if we go into the GUI, you can see all of them there. And as you can see, the two new ones have no law. So set law, we do forward slash P warp, set law, then the warp name, then the line of the law, and then whatever the law you want to be. And you can even have spaces. So let's just set three different laws. And if we try to set a fourth one, it will not work. So what we're going to do next is forward slash P warp GY. And as you can see, the law for warp tree has been updated and it looks pretty awesome. I just wrote some random things, but uh, that's how, how it works pretty much. So if you want to delete a warp, it's very straightforward. You do forward slash P warp delete and then whatever the name is. So tree two. Then if we do forward slash P warp reset law and then the ID, so tree, it will delete the law from that warp. So another awesome feature which allows you to change the item at the top of the GUI. So at the moment it's a nether star, uh, but what we can do, we can change it to a compass by doing forward slash P warp GUI item and hitting enter and whatever is in your hand will be set to it. So you can see it doesn't have a name. So you can either use essentials or an anvil like I'm doing now to change the name of the item at the top of the GUI. Um, so you can write anything you want. You can have color codes, format codes, if you use Essentials or another plugin. Uh, but if you were to use the command again and then check in the GUI, you can see that there we go. So it says Server Miner Warps and that's as easy as it gets really. So if we go on to the help page again, you can see there is a couple more things that we can do. So if we hop up here, this is going to be our new location for the warp tree. And if we do forward slash P warp, move warp, and then tree, it will move warp tree to over here. So that's pretty cool that you don't have to delete it and recreate it again. You can simply just move it and it keeps all of the law and other stuff. So another cool feature is being able to set your warps as public or private. So it's e as easy as doing forward slash P warp, set private, and then the warp name, or set public and then the warp name. So if you do set it to private, you can have people be trusted and allowed to go to that specific warp. So the way I would do that is obviously for slash P warp, trust the warp name, which is going to be tree as we've just made it private. And then uh, let's just go with my name as I'm the only one online. If we try to use another player that hasn't been on, obviously it does not work. So that is how that works, and obviously you can untrust them if you don't want them going there anymore. And then you can do four slash p warp clear old warps uh, to get rid of any that aren't being used anymore. So 30 days is the number by default, but you can change this in the config file. Finally, you can do four slash p warp set limit and then the amount. Um, so let's go with five, and this will set the limit of warps players can create. So here we are in the SM Picnic control panel, and if we go into the single config.yml, we will see that there is not much in here. So it will save all of your data that you um, that you have in game, uh, but you can change a few things like the uh, price, or the amount, the type 
of um, items that cost to make the warp. And if you look down here, it has all of the different warps we've created, the laws, etc., whether it's private or not, and the final warp list down here. So you don't really need to edit that, but um, you can if you want to, if you prefer to edit a YML file. Um, so if we go into the Spigot link, uh, this will be the page you get to if you click the link in the description. As you can see, it was updated at the end of February, so it's very recent. It's on the latest version of Minecraft 1.13 and it has a lot of documentation on how it works. So it's got all of the commands there, a few screenshots, and as you can see, you can have color codes formatting up here to make it look really nice, and uh, you can make everything colors, which is really awesome. Then down at the bottom, you have a few permissions as well, so make sure you give these to the players that you want to be able to create warps. Um, and then down at the bottom, if you do have any questions or problems, make sure you go into his Discord and ask the developer um, whatever's going wrong. So that is the plugin, it's really awesome, obviously it's free to download. If you need a server to host it on, check out serverminer.com for the best and cheapest hosting around. If you want to check out more tutorials, either plugins or serverminer tutorials, there'll be links in the description. But that's it for me, subscribe, like, comment, and I'll see you next time.